Now, we are going to see addition and subtraction of money. You know that money is very essential. So generally, we are going to buy something from the shop. We have to pay the money for the uh, things. Okay, so we are going to see the addition and subtraction of monies that is called as rupees and pies. That is what I have written here. So we can use in this place addition and next one is subtraction. So anyhow 56.75, the first question is given. So addition 56.75, rupees 56 and 75 pies. Second is 123 rupees 50 pies. So 76 rupees and 25 pies. While you go for the any shops, okay, if you go for the malls and shopping malls, wherever you can go, uh, so you can buy something, there the bill is given to you. So in the from uh, from this bill, you can read whatever the totals. So it is clearly mentioned so how much rupees and how much pies is clearly mentioned, and the total amount also given given the final uh, finally the, they are given the total amount and how much you pay and how much they return back. Everything is uh, clearly mentioned in the bill okay that is what the that is the method uh, exactly you have seen in real life real life application so we are going to see the addition and subtraction of money you know that money is very essential because wherever you go to the shop we have to buy something even if you want to buy a soap or what chocolate you have to pay the money to the shopkeeper and how much you have how much uh, you have to uh, or how much you have to pay for the chocolate or soap, whatever the pencil box, whatever it may be, a different box, anything you can, you can even a book. So, for example, if you pay 50 rupees, so the book cost is 30 rupees, means you have to 50 rupees you are given to the shopkeeper. The remaining amount, the book exact, the cost of book is 30 rupees, means the remaining amount, how much you have to calculate. So, it's uh, mind calculation is also very essential. So, 50 rupees given to the shopkeeper, the cost of book is 30 rupees. So 50 minus 30, you can get what? 20 rupees remind remaining amount is what how much you you have you have to get back that is the remaining amount is 20 rupees that is the basic calculation so but this if it is a very long uh, process means for example you have to buy a lot of things from the shop means you can't uh, what calculate everything immediately even you can use calculators if you are very good in addition you can easily calculate everything so that is what you have to practice it so that is what I'm teaching what addition that is rupees and pies you are using in your day-to-day -day life and real uh, what real life application everyday life day-to-day -day life you are using what rupees and pies that is money is very very essential part of the life and also the calculation part is also very very important so listen to the class very carefully and go through the videos once or twice then you can easily understand the concept very well now let's start the class that is addition so rupees and pies so 56 rupees 75 pies first one the second one is 123 rupees 50 pies the third one is 76 rupees 25 pies first you have to calculate only the pies then you have to go to the rupees so 5 plus 0 5 up then 5 plus 0 what 5 then 5 plus 5 you can get what 10 so you have to put 0 then carry over is go to the next place so what is the number is 7 plus 1 8 so 1 plus 7 means 8 8 plus 5 what 13 13 plus 2 you can get 15 so I'm not using any fingers because I'm very uh, what thorough in the concept that is what I'm doing uh, very fast if you want you can use fingers okay 5 plus 0 5 so 5 in the mind and 5 in the finger after 5 you have to use 6 7 8 9 10 so 0 is I've written here so the carryover is go to the next place next pies place so 1 plus 7 that means 8 8 plus 5 so 8 plus 5 means 8 in the mind 5 in the finger after 8 what 9 10 11 12 13 13 13 plus 2 13 in the mind 2 in the finger after 13 14 and 15 so 5 the carryover is go to the next rupees place so 1 so 1 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 3 what 10 10 plus 6 16 6 carryover is go to the next place so 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 7 15 5 the carryover is go to the next place 1 plus 1 2 the answer is so you have to put the point 256.50 that means rupees 256.50 pies rupees otherwise you can use this okay 256 rupees 50 pies this is what you would write otherwise you can write like this this is also correct okay so this is the method you have to use this is an addition
so listen i tell you actually i i want to tell you one thing place the points one below to other so this is the this is what ones and tens and after this is called as 56 rupees this is pais so this is what pays while you write the pays you have to put the point then you have to write write the points so you must uh, write the points very carefully and you must write the point or you must place the point very carefully one below to others so 56.75 next you have to write 123.50 so you have to say 50 means 50 pais so 76.25 76 rupees 25 pais that is what we have to call that is what we have to say okay ma the next one is subtraction so subtraction is what is that is what is the number as given 300 rupees minus 235 rupees 25 pice so rupees and rupees and what pace so 300 rupees there is uh, no numbers because there is no numbers here. So I just put what zero zero because why I have write two zeros because here the next number is two hundred and thirty five point twenty five pies here after the point two digit here so that is what I have written what two zeros on the top now I am going to subtract so zero minus five you can't subtract so next you have to go to the next number so you can't subtract here also so what you are going to because zero is here so while you go to the next place so here also what zero you can't subtract here also zero you can't subtract so you have to borrow from the three so this uh, uh, from the from three you have to borrow one so this become two so this ten this zero become ten this zero become So you have to borrow from 3 only because all the digits, all the numbers are zeros. So from the 3 you have to borrow only 1. So this 3 becomes 2. Then this 0 what becomes 10. So you have to borrow from what? 1. You have to borrow from this from this 10 you have to borrow 1. So this 10 becomes 9. So here becomes what? 10. Okay. So after, from, after, after this you have to borrow from this 10 you have to borrow 1 so this 10 also become 9 so now this 0 become 10 so from this 10 you have to borrow 1 so this 10 become 9 and this also become this 0 become 10 so 10 minus 5 you can get 5 9 minus 2 you can get 7 so point then 9 minus 5 4 and 9 minus 3 6 the last number is 2 2 minus 2 you can get 0 answer is 64.75 i'll repeat once again that is 300.00 235.25 so after the points again number two digits are years but there is no numbers here that is what i put zero for that particular digits so what you're going to do you have to borrow year zero year zero year zero year zero so only one the last one is the last one is that is the final number is three so here only the number so you have to borrow one from uh, you have to borrow one from this particular place that is this is ones tens and hundred this is called as pice okay so this is rupees and this is pice okay so what are you going to do this is uh, from the three you have to borrow one so this three become two so from the three you have to borrow one so this three become two so this ten become this sorry the ten space what is the number is given zero so this zero become ten so from the ten we have to borrow one ten so this one place zero become ten and this become nine so from this what one place ten we have to borrow only one so this ten become nine so this place become ten again so again what you're going to do you have to borrow from one so this 10 become nine and this zero become 10 so what you're going to do 10 minus 5 10 minus 5 means after 5 backward counting so after 5 up to 10 so 6 7 8 9 10 so 5 here okay so what is the number on the top 9 9 minus 2 you can get what 7 so after 2 you have to start counting up to 9 so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 7 you have to write 7 so put the point so what is the number here so 9 9 minus 5 
So 9 minus 5, you can get what? 4. And again 9 minus 3, you can get 6. So 9 minus 5. After 5, start. After 5, you have to count. Backward counting up to what? 9. 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. The answer is 4. So here also 9. 9 minus 3. So what you're going to do? So after 3, you have to start counting. That is backward counting. After 3, that means 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 6. So this last under its place, what is the number? 2. Here also 2. To 2 minus 2, we can get 0. So no need to put 0 here. The answer is 64 rupees 75 pies. So 64 rupees 75 pies. Or else 64 rupees 75 pies. This is the answer for the question.